In this demo, we'll take a look at one of the key functionalities of the Power Platform, and that is there are hundreds of connectors available that allow me to connect to different data sources and then combine and visualize them in one place. So I'm here logged in to the Code Contoso support app, which allows me to access um, relevant information for the products that I have already acquired. So for example, I can use this chatbot functionality to simply ask um, this Q&A bot um, what ports are available for the XPS 13 um, device that I have already bought in the past. Or I can ask um, about the dimensions of this um, device and this Q&A bot simply returns this technical information back to me in this power application without me having to go to another technical documentation. Another thing um, that this application does is it provides me with a list of all the documents that are relevant to me. So using an SAP lookup, I can see what products have I um, acquired in the past. And then this application returns the relevant documentations back to me in this um, Contoso support app. Now, the next thing that is available in this Contoso app is a functionality to take a picture of a product that I might have some issues in, for example. So if I take a picture here of my Surface Book, this um, AI builder detects that the picture that I took actually is a Surface Book, and then I can click on the details. Now, what we are doing is we're looking up this first, the technical information in the SAP system. Then we retrieve the relevant information for this Surface Book 3 um, from a SharePoint library, and then in the end, um, and enables me to create a ticket, let's say if um, I have some issues with this specific device. So let's take a look how this was done. The first thing is this input field here for the ask me anything scenario. Um, you type in a, a question and then when you click on the go button, we open up a new Power App screen and in this screen, we query the Q&A maker functionality. So we have connected the Q&A maker. This is one of the connections that we have there. Um, to this Power App and we just pass on, I mean, we provide some, some credentials obviously to, to execute, to call this Q&A Maker functionality, but then we pass over the question to the Q&A Maker and we get a re um, an answer back. Now Q&A Maker is, is, a, is a website um, that we have with our um, Azure Cognitive Services, which has this knowledge database with lots of questions and related answers. And for me to populate this knowledge database. It was very simple because I only had to provide um, URLs to already existing FAQs. And um, with this information, the Q&A maker created this knowledge database, which we can then very easily leverage and call directly out of the um, Power App screens here. The next thing that we have in this in this specific application is this your documents. Now here we are connecting to a SharePoint library and we are retrieving only the information that are relevant for this specific locked in user. So if we switch over to the um, SharePoint site, actually to the document list of this um, SharePoint site, we can see that there are lots of more documents available, but we only retrieve and filter for the documents that are relevant for the user that is actually locked on. So we, we know what products this specific user has already bought, and now we can just filter and show the user the relevant information. Finally, we have the um, check my product functionality. For this, we're using um, the AI builder to detect a specific object. So, so again, from Power Apps, we just call um, the AI builder functionality. I mean, the user takes a picture. And in my case, I took a picture of my um, Surface Book. And then we're using the AI builder functionality to do this object detections. So what we have done in the, um, before, we actually trained a model um, and, and actually, you, you might remember in the previous demo, we had this product detection that we used for the form processing when we had this incoming um, product PDF document. Now we're doing a similar thing. We have trained this model with lots of pictures of um, different laptops, of different laptop models. And out of this, we get a result then that um, when, in my specific case, the Surface Book was, was um, um, a, a photo was taken of the Surface Book. We detected this information and then with this information that this is now a Surface Book, we do a query. If this was a Surface Book, then look up the related information in the SAP system. So again, very similar to what we did in the previous demos. We're using the very same Power Automate flows there. We can leverage what um, 
whatever um, investments we already had in the past. So we are calling to this um, SAP system. We are retrieving the description directly live from the SAP system and then showcasing this information um, here in this Power App screen. Similar with the documentation. Now we know what exact product we are looking at. So, uh, so in our specific case, this Surface Book. So we only retrieve the relevant information for this specific Surface Book. And finally, we enable the user in case there are some issues that the user can create a ticket with the SAP system. So with all of that, um, we have one single power app, but we can connect to the Q&A maker. We can connect to an SAP system. We can connect to a SharePoint library. We can connect to chatbot functionalities. So um, we really have one single application that allows us to very easily connect to, to multiple um, backend data sources and then make this information very easily accessible to the user.